February 2021, it's Black History Month. So let's celebrate with a black owned distillery and the whiskeys of Uncle Nearest. Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. I'm Kevin, and we have two whiskeys that are both uh, from the Uncle Nearest Distillery, a black-owned distillery, and since this is uh, Black History Month, it seems appropriate to review these whiskeys. I've had one of these bottles for a year. It got tucked in the back of my cabinet. It's been on my schedule to review, and recently I had a, a advent calendar where uh, the 1884 exp expression of Uncle Nearest was in that calendar, and it reminded me of how much I like this whiskey. And then I went, hmm, don't I have a bottle? Digging back in my cabinet, sure enough, I have the 1856 also. So this is a long overdue uh, review of Uncle Nearest. The Uncle Nearest brand was founded in 2017 when Vaughn Weaver heard the story of Nathan Nearest Green and how he basically started uh, the distillery or the, the training of Jack Daniels, who created the Jack Daniels Whiskey Distillery. Uh, Uncle Nearest, uh, who was known as Uncle Nearest to his friends and family, he grew up as a slave uh, but he started a whiskey distillery. He learned how to distill whiskey. And uh, an orphan boy named Jack Daniels was one of his trainees. Like he taught this young man how to distill whiskey and uh, was the first distiller at the Jack Daniels distillery. So when Fawn heard this story, she was uh, inspired to create this brand. Surprisingly enough, the one that I bought two months ago in December uh, is this one. And this one has the missing whiskey. I really enjoyed it when I tasted it in the advent calendar. I said, I, that's why there's so much missing. I, I enjoyed it. I kept drinking it. This one just got tucked back in the cabinet. And, um, but this is, this is uh, almost a year old, a little over a year old actually now. Um, and, and a very different expression. This is their 100 proof, the 1856 is, a, is their premium whiskey. It's an American whiskey. It's, it's handmade in Tennessee and 50% uh, alcohol, so 100 proof. Some details about it. Uh, it's uh, double distilled, aged in American oat barrels. And the uh, Uncle Nearest 1856 pays tribute to his legacy and his craft. And unclenearest.com if you want to read more about this amazing distillery. The 1884 is a different expression. It is a small batch whiskey, but this is 93 proof, which means it's 46.5 ABV. And this one is, um, the 1884 is uh, a similar proof to what made uh, Nearest Whiskey so beloved. So let's go through each one of these. Get a couple glasses here so we can pair them side by side. I find that it's very hard especially with some American whiskeys, to tell the difference when I'm drinking them and then pause for a while and then drink another different but similar expression. Um, some of the flavors, because of the way they're distilled, can be incredibly subtly different. But this one, uh, the one I'm pouring now, the 1856, I haven't had in probably a year. So I've been drinking the 1884. I know that one. The 1856, I don't know it at all. Let me go ahead and dive in this one first. Typical Tennessee whiskey nose. It's softer. It's very easy on the nose, honey. Kind of that, uh, a little bit of a hint of an oak. Maybe some, um, some berries for me on the nose. Now I had this the other night 
and it wasn't quite as spicy. I'm getting a lot of wood oak. I'm getting some vanilla and I'm getting um, maybe like a brown sugar as the, as the sweetness. Let's compare it to the 1856. And where the 1884 is giving me more of the, the honey notes, 1856 is more grassy. I'm getting more kind of a, um, a forest smell to it, maybe some pine, and a very different initial taste. There's, there's, a, there's that burn still because it is a 50, uh, 100 proof whiskey, a 50% ABV. But they don't taste that much different in the, in the spiciness. I think they're, I think you can really tell the, the wood flavors in both of these. A lot of times a Tennessee whiskey, to me, what makes a Tennessee whiskey is uh, one of the requirements for calling it a Tennessee whiskey is the charcoal filtering. And I understand why it's done. It gets rid of all the, the, the weird spiky edges on things. So you're not getting Uncle Nearest for the incredible uh, variety of flavors in there. I think what you're getting this for is the, the oak and the spice and the vanilla and the kind of the brown sugar sweetness. The difference in the finish for me, the 1856 has kind of a, um, a dry finish. So if I have a very uh, dry, oaky wine, it's that similar type of finish to it. Whereas the 1884 is a softer finish, still a lot of spice. In fact, it's more spice than it is dry. I think the, the, the 100 proof definitely is, um, is offering more dryness. It's offering more of that cutting flavor. But I found myself um, going back to, oh, you can see, I found myself going back to this bottle uh, quite often because it just tasted like a really solid whiskey. And I think a uh, 93 proof is a really good sweet spot for American whiskeys. As I do more tasting, I'm getting kind of a, a cloves and nutmeg. I'm getting the 50% the, the alcohol I'm definitely getting more in the 1856 of grassy notes and, and the kind of the, the mossy notes. Where the 1884 is a lot more sweetness, a lot more brown sugar. I really like both of these. I don't know, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be a what am I in the mood for that evening type flavor. I think they're both very consistent. I think they're both very uh, good Tennessee whiskeys. I would definitely reach for these over one of the more popular ones. I, I've never bought a bottle of Jack Daniels. I probably should just for, uh, just for testing, but to me, I've had it over the years as one of those, it's just a, it's just a go-to whiskey for so many people. And I haven't felt like the desire is there to go grab that. But I think Uncle Nearest has some really nice flavors. I think it's a great Tennessee whiskey, and I would recommend either of these. The 1884, uh, back when I bought this, I think it was about uh, $45, $47. It should be available in most states. I think it's available in all 50 states at least, or close to there. Uh, this one, the 1856, is a little more expensive. You're paying for the proof probably because they're, they're not really age statement whiskeys. So you're not going to get uh, ones a lot older, ones a lot more mature. 
Well, I'm really impressed with Uncle Nearest. I, I, like I said, I've been enjoying this bottle a lot. It's been a, a go-to sipping whiskey at night for me. I will be breaking into this one too, now that I've uh, pulled it out of the cabinet and I've done a review. It's always easier to try my whiskeys when I know I've, I've finished reviews for them. I was getting a little worried with the 1884 because I was starting to get down the bottle. I said, you know, stop, leave that bottle alone until you get the review done, which now it's done. So these bottles are both fair game for me. I, I think Uncle Nearest is probably something worth your time and worth your effort, especially if you're trying to support uh, black owned businesses. These are a great option for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was uh, informative for you. I'm enjoying uh, getting back into the weekly videos after my marathon. I'll, I'll leave a link for the advent calendar um, re reviews that I did, the, the whole playlist and the, and the final video where I had to go through over 40 grams of whiskey, which I think was entertaining. I, I don't know, but I was drinking, so it seemed like a good time to me. If you are enjoying these videos, give me a like, hit a subscribe, please. And um, until the next time we meet on this uh, YouTube channel, cheers. Mm -hmm.